Um, we still don't know the exact whereabouts of Saran. We still don't know who is with Saran, or should I say, um, who you know he's with. Uh, we kind of found out that his father, you know, lives in Florida. And so some people's like, oh, he's down there with his dad. But we don't know that for sure. Because remember, the um guy, the gay young man who was living with Miss Elijah because of the fact that his family didn't want anything to do with him because he had came out the closet. He actually took a trip down to Florida because, you know, his time was winding down with Miss Elijah and people like the um, social services was getting closer to finding out where he was and Miss Elijah would be charged with harboring a minor. So he has to keep moving in order to not be in the system since his parents don't want nothing to do with him and he don't want to go back home. So he's like, oh, I'm just going to go down to Florida and I'm going to just hide out till I become of age and then I'm going to, you know, sign up for college. So that's his whole plan. He ends up taking Saran down there, but we never saw Saran's father. We never saw um, the young guy drop Saran off anywhere. Oh, uh, we don't know where Saran is. I'm glad that he left home, but then at the beginning of this episode, uh, well, shortly after it starts, his mother going to show up at Days at the apartment after the storm passes. And she shows up talking about, I know you know where he is. She's manhandling, grabbing on him. Um, you know, the, the trying to get away with the same stuff she's doing to her own child, Saran. Um, but Day wasn't having that. He was like, hold up first. Wait a minute, white woman. Wait a minute, you white child abuser. First of all, um, you talking about where your son at? I want to know why you abusing your son. Why he's always got bruises all over him to where he can't walk or sit up straight in class. Why your husband in his sheets in the middle of the night? Answer those questions first, and maybe I might tell you where your son at. So hopefully, Saran is in a better place, and he's being well taken care of and not abused by his father or anyone else. Now, we kind of knew about um scott like how he was murdered we knew like how he was work has murdered um but we weren't like totally 100 percent sure um who murdered him and then uh day he had kind of had a flashback you know because you know like deja vu and it he it just brought back his memory to when his mentor sky was being chased and was murdered in the front yard of the apartment buildings. And the person came down the railing and leaped over. the. St it was like deja vu, like the same way when the moms was up there scaring people with his mask on. So he was like, hmm. And I was like, did the mom kill Sky? And obviously he did. They showed the whole scene, the whole replay, how Shinobi had came over. Um, Sky was trying to talk him out of, you know, doing drugs, trying to talk him out of hustling. And then next thing we know, um, Day is over there and he's trying to kick Day out. And then um, uh, Damon come running in, shooting. And next thing we know, Sky, he's on the ground being executed. Like when Shinobi tried to go get that script filled, when he tried to, you know, pretend like he was Day, like he pretend like he was David, when he ran up on Miss Elijah to get that script. And we're going to talk about that real quick. Hold on. Let's, let's talk about Miss Elijah. Now, he was wrong. He was wrong as two left feet when he started going off on Miss Elijah. Just because he got his butt monkey stomped and molly whopped, um, he's mad at Miss Elijah because she won't give him the scripts, but he wasn't paying her her money. She was like, um, I can give you one script, but you gotta pay me my money. Then he tries to call her the F word, you know, the F word. And I'm like, hold up. You wasn't calling her the F word when you were sneaking and creeping over there with your undercover brother, but, you know, getting your work. <laughs> Miss Elijah has been there for all those boys. The ones slanging, the ones not slanging, the ones getting put out of their house because they're gay. You know, she takes care of everybody. And then he comes at her like that after you be creeping over her house all the time. And then every time he get caught over there, he like, uh, what y'all looking at? What y'all looking at? I ain't gay. I ain't gay. <laughs> 
And then he gonna call her the F word. Miss Elijah, did you see her? She was like, first of all, she snatched off her wig cap. She was like, hold up, first of all, I will take off these nails, these earrings, this makeup, and I'm gonna show you how I really get down. <laughs> glow i feel so bad for her because it seems like it seems like she can't win for losing ever it took her a long time to get off the drugs the so she went to the emergency room because she didn't have medical or nothing like that so she went to the emergency room they offered to give her some medicine some pills some some very potent painkillers because she had fractured ribs hip all that and she declined because she know that she has a disease. She's addicted to pills. She didn't take the pills, but once she found out that her son was out there hustling with them dudes out there in the street with Raymond and Damon and Shinobi and all them, she asked him for a pill. He gave it to her. She's just sitting there looking like she's fiending big time. She's up there just fiending. You could tell her she's sweating. I don't know how what's going to happen the next season. I hope that she doesn't relapse and end up popping on pills left and right or if she just takes some as needed just for the pain. I, I'm hoping that's what's going to happen because them poor boys, 